Have you ever felt sad or anxious? Ever had those dark thoughts you just couldn't shake off? That's okay. Everybody's had those days a few times in their life, and therapists are just too expensive. That's why I'm here to help show you some cheap and helpful ways to get you through it. I'm John Anderson, a Wall Street broker for over 20 years who's now six days sober, so you could say I know a thing or two about handling your mental health. This is David, and he hasn't been feeling his best lately. He seems to think he has depression. Been feeling down lately, but I don't know how to deal with it. Ha <laughs> that's okay old sport. We have plenty of methods to help you when you're not feeling your best. Unfortunately, we can only tell you the legal ones. Step one, drink more water. Scientists have proven that not drinking enough water can make you feel groggy and sadder than usual. I don't feel better yet. What are the options do I have? Now if water doesn't seem to do the trick, the last thing you should do is talk to others about your problems. This brings us to our next step. Step two, pray on it and avoid talking to others. When someone's sad, it could be because they're not as in touch with the Lord as they once were. But don't let those doubts and feelings concern others. You wouldn't want them to think that you're crazy, would you? And remember, Satan means sad in Latin. Hi, I'm David. How are you feeling today? Just a little. You sure? You seem kind of quiet recently. Yep, yeah, that's pretty great. Interesting. Well, that's just a small song. Great job, David. A real man doesn't reveal their feelings. I've been reading this book all day, but I don't know if I feel like myself yet. That's alright. That's what this next step is for. Step 3. Lobotomy. What's lobotomy? A lobotomy, or glucotomy, is a form of psychosurgery, a neurosurgical treatment of a mental disorder that involves severing connections with the brain's prefrontal cortex. Wait! Where are you going? We're not finished here. Hey David, what's wrong? I've been going through a lot, and I need someone to talk to about it. I need help. I've been hearing a lot about what I should do about something like this, but it's getting more overwhelming. I just need someone to talk to about it. Well, you can always come to us, son. If we're not around, there are plenty of groups of people just like you. So never be afraid to reach out. Thanks, Bob.